Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today, we're diving into a really exciting topic comparing pandas, polars, and DuckDB. If you have been working with pandas and encountered performance issues, especially dealing with larger data sets, then it's time to explore other tools in this ecosystem. Today, we will compare these three libraries, pandas, polars, and DuckDB focusing on their read and data transformation speeds. We'll explore how they stack up against each other and help you choose the best tool for your data needs. First up is Pandas. Pandas is a classic. It's been around for quite some time and is a go-to for many data scientists and analysts. Pandas makes data manipulation really straightforward with its data frame objects and it's super user friendly. But performance wise, it can sometimes be a bit slow especially with larger data sets. This is because it operates in a single thread. Now let's talk about Polars. Polars is a relatively new kid on the block compared to Pandas, but it's gaining traction fast. Why? Well, for starters, it's written in Rust, a language that's known for its performance. Polars supports multi-threading, which can make a huge difference when you're working with large data sets. In many cases, you'll see read and transformation operations performing much faster in Polars than in Pandas. Finally, we have DuckDB. DuckDB is often described as the SQLite for analytics. It's an in-process SQL OLAP database management system. DuckDB excels at running read-intensive queries and can handle large volumes of data quite efficiently. Unlike Pandas and Polars, DuckDB lets you use SQL queries, which can be a big advantage if you're coming from a database background. So, how do they stack up in terms of speed? Well, we have run some benchmarks to compare their read and data transformation speeds. We read the bike dataset from Kaggle. It's about 2.3 gigabytes in size. DuckDB came on top in the data reading test. It only took 0.26 seconds to read this data. Polars is on number 2 with 1 second and 57 seconds, while Pandas took 26 seconds. In terms of data transformation, DuckDB again takes the lead. You can use DuckDB especially if you're comfortable writing transformations in SQL. Pandas, while extremely versatile and easy to use, tend to be slower for large datasets. I would start exploring Polars since we can use Python, and it offers similar functionality. So, what's the takeaway here? If you're working with smaller datasets and value ease of use, Pandas is still a fantastic choice. For larger datasets, in Python ecosystem Polars offers a significant speed advantage. And if you're looking for a balance and prefer SQL for your transformations, DuckDB is a great option. Each tool has its own strengths and is best suited for different kinds of tasks and workflows. I hope this gives you a clearer understanding of how Pandas, Polars, and DuckDB compare in terms of read and data transformation speeds. Thanks for tuning in. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.